Welcome, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and it's another exciting Clash of Clans episode where we ask the critical question, is Clash of Clans dying? Now, first things first, in order to answer this question, we must define what dying is. And really, it comes down to one of three definitions, okay? Now, definition number one, the game will no longer be playable, meaning that the company that brought you the game is shutting down the servers, closing their doors, and you just simply can't play the game anymore. Now, this is very obviously not happening to Clash of Clans anytime soon. I would say that this game has at least four town halls, maybe five left in it, and it could be longer than that. I mean, you gotta remember that Supercell has this 100 year plan, so they certainly plan on playing Clash of Clans in the year 2112. It's, it's true. Okay, second definition of dying would involve the company no longer bringing you updates, meaning the dev team is no longer going to update the game. The game will stay the same it is for eternity. This has happened to other games that I've played, <coughs> World War Do, but it definitely is not something that I see happening to Clash of Clans anytime within the next several years again. So based upon those first two definitions, the game is not dying. Now, the third and more broad definition to dying could be, is interest falling off in the game? And this is obviously true. I will show you guys some graphs at the end of the video that show you that interest and searches and that sort of popularity has dropped off. This is something that you guys probably knew already, but there's some interesting stuff at the end of the video that I'll get into. But okay, so is it dying in that regard? Dying, I would say, is the wrong term to use. Obviously, the interest has dropped off a bit, but okay, okay, let me get down to the reason that I made this video in the first place, and that is, and I just have to be completely honest with you guys, I always have been honest, I try to be excited and ready to play Clash of Clans and stream it every single day and bring you a new video and be pumped about the game in and of itself because I've enjoyed playing it for the past nine years, but I will admit, that in the cycle of excitement and boredom, I'm kind of personally, personally now, just me speaking, I'm in a lull and I definitely feel kind of burned out about the game. Now this could be just because of me, this could be because of the meta or the way things are in the game as far as updates, but I also will tell you, and I've talked to other content creators and other very avid players, we need something big, something significant, and I'm talking about a new game mode update. Not just new troops, new buildings, new defenses, new levels, balancing, no. That stuff, it's like a band-aid on an arterial wound, okay? You need to fix the main problem, and that is that the game needs something fresh for everyone. Not just new levels for mostly top-end players, we need some way to re-engage socially, right? We, okay, I will admit, that global was not a good place, but at the same time, losing global definitely cut out a huge social aspect of the game. No, I do not think global should ever come back. It was a toxic environment, but I feel like that has left a giant hole in Clash of Clans that needs to be filled by another feature, some way to make players work cooperatively together, to communicate more, to feel more in touch with their fellow clan members and their other players, their friends, and I'm not exactly sure what that is. I'm not a game designer, and I don't know exactly what the missing formula is, but I do know from a player's perspective that certainly we're missing something since the loss of Global, and the recent updates have only brought new levels, not really any new sort of game mode, even the Town Hall 14 update. You know, it did bring a ton of new content, but it didn't bring something to help keep players engaged as they work their way through the Town Halls, and I feel like that's really what we need. Now, of course, this is only one man's opinion, right? This is just my opinion, and remember, opinions are like butts. Everybody has one, and they all stink. So you may not agree with what I have to say, and that's fine, but I do feel like this is a significant issue that I've talked to other players and content creators about, and they feel similarly. So I am definitely, certainly hoping that the end of the year update, this last big update that usually comes in December, 
will bring us something like that that will refresh the game and perhaps even bring a new game mode and no i'm not talking about builder base or clash of clans 2 just something again that would kind of reinvigorate the social aspect of clash of clans which really is what i feel like has kept this game going for nine plus years which makes clash of clans a true unicorn in the mobile gaming community wait that's it maybe we just need new levels to the unicorn no okay but seriously, so that's kind of why I wanted to make this video, not because I think that Clash of Clans is dying in and of itself, but right now my interest in the game is at the lowest point that it's been since probably like the Town Hall 11 days. And I continue to make the videos, obviously. I continue to play the game and stream. I will admit that I live stream, like I said this just the other night on Facebook. I said, you know, you guys, I am streaming more to have the social interactivity with you, the players, to chat, than I am for the game itself. The game is almost like a backdrop to the conversation that we have on Facebook, so if you guys want to stop by, fb.gg slash realgaladongaming, and I certainly still raid constantly. We're playing a lot of Gold Pass Clash, playing a lot of No Cash Clash, and I will also admit that those two accounts are really what keep me engaged in Clash of Clans right now because of the grind. You know, people complain about the grind, but at the same time, the grind is very rewarding as you work your way through the town halls. And that is again why I think Clash will continue to be successful, even without a lot of new, really diverse content coming to the game in the last year or so. So yes, you guys are definitely supportive of the content creators and we are trying to be supportive of you, the players as well. And I do feel like that is definitely a two way street. And so I thought with that being said, let's go ahead and take a moment for a little gala therapy session. If you would, just for a moment, turn everything off around you, get a moment to be alone, just you and Galadon, and we're going to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, okay? I want to get a chance to tell you what's on my mind, and I want you to tell me what's on your mind, okay? So I'm going to give you a chance to talk, and we will talk to each other just for a minute here, and I do really feel like this is going to help both of us, all right? So just let me know what you think of the thoughts that I've told you so far today in the video. Mm-hmm right exactly and see and that's where we definitely agree and so i know uh-huh sorry i didn't mean to interrupt right right okay but is that really what you're trying to say mm -hmm. yes i hear you i no, and i agree and no that's definitely something that i want to talk to supercell about as well all right good Hey, this, this has been a good talk. I, I really appreciate this. Thank you for taking the time. To, uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome as well. All right, so let's get back to the video. So yes, I really appreciate you guys. And I know that's kind of funny, but seriously, it is true that you guys, the viewers, help support content creators through not just obviously viewing, but moral support, being there for the content creators. And I really appreciate that. Obviously, uh, I do a little bit better in communicating with you guys down in the comments. So if you would like to leave your comments, go right ahead. But let's get to the statistics. First of all, I wanted to say congratulations to Tribe Gaming on a spectacular performance in CWL this season. They did a great job and hopefully it will help them qualify for the qualifiers as they have to uh, beat a bunch of teams. But I wanted to show you those graphs, okay? So this is a graph using Google Trends, which is the Google website that shows the web search popularity of the term Clash of Clans. You can see that it peaked in February of 2015 and has really dropped off ever since, uh, just temporarily seeing little boosts, probably for those big updates. But obviously, you know, we're never going to see the February 2015 peaks again, but it's interesting to see where the game has gone in the past six years since then. Specifically for countries, and actually this is down to cities, I thought this was really interesting. Number one and number two cities for popularity right now are the Philippines, and then it goes to Bangladesh. I know I've been to the Philippines, there are some really passionate players over there. It is crazy how popular Clash of Clans remains in those countries. And then check out how popular it is to try to break Clash of Clans. People trying to break the rules, come on! Anyway, thank you True Galafan for watching the entire episode. Please do leave your comments and questions down below. I do truly love, think about it, and appreciate every single one of you every single day, so get out there. Make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet, and I will see you back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks.
Galadon, Galadon, Clash of Clans isn't dying, but your hairline is. <laughs>